It's about your, no, it's about your roots in the musical theater. Oh yeah. So, um, because we're a musical theater loving organization, tell us a little bit about that. Well, I would say my most direct connection so far, anyway, to Rose's Theater Kids is my friend Jeff Statil, who uh, shared four years at Carnegie Mellon in my, and we were in the same class, uh, with music theater majors. And I haven't seen him Yay. in about ten years, so it's uh, fantastic to reconnect. And, and you did uh, see him tonight. I did, yeah, of yeah. course, yeah. And it's uh, it's really great. Uh, and he's a big part of why I've uh, uh, been made aware of this incredible organization. And uh, I know he's been working with them for a long time. So he's awesome. He is awesome. Uh, I started performing in, um, I was about ten in Pittsburgh. And my first experiences were in, uh, I was at Mini Star. Civic Light Opera has an organization. It was like a, a you know child's performing group. We did like medleys of Broadway or a Cole Porter medley or a Disney medley, and we would go around. We would travel with these ladders that we would like put up and stand on and dance. And that's how I started performing actually, um, because uh, my third grade music teacher thought that I had something that you know needed to be expressed, and maybe other kids didn't have it. And, she sent a note home with me one day to my mom saying she should audition for this thing. So that's how it all began for me. So then you just did, did you just do the Plus Mary? I did it in, uh, in February, this, March. February, March. Yeah. Was this the one at the Air? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Celia. Celia, and Cherry and Jones, and, Jones, and Brian J. Smith. So we have a Cherry Jones connection. I worked with Cherry of Jones on uh, <laughs> last week. Yeah. On, on a week. And uh, that is a dream cast of a dream player. So can you talk about that a little bit? Sure. Um, Did Diane direct it? No, John Tiffany. Oh. Yeah. Um, well, I love Diane, but John's even more of a dream for me. Uh, I'm so excited for her. Pippin is amazing. Go yeah. see if you haven't. Um, but John Tiffany brought us all together. He is the um, the puck of that mid-summer ministry. Uh, he is a magician. He's a, an incredible, um, beautiful, open, um, Limitless artist to me. He's really, really something. So I basically, I, I, I had done Angels in America here in 2010, 11 season, off Broadway at the Signature. Yes. And, uh, you know, it's basically always been my goal since I graduated from college to come back here into theater. Um, Angels in America was my first play, 13, 12 or 13 years. I mean, no, my first play in New York, sorry, not my first play. Since I graduated. My first play in New York, 12 years after I graduated from college. So, um, that's a good one to start with. It was a good one to start with, yeah. And, and I really wanted my first experience to be off-Broadway, and I wanted it to be an ensemble play, and when I found out they were doing that, I just thought, you know, I like felt. <laughs> Do I need to fix it? Yeah, right. yeah. We've done, uh, at Rose's Theater Kids, several um, video projects, and the, it's a very interesting thing to expose the kids to uh, the film. Video, whatever field it is, that can unlock that within you and introduce you to that thing, then um, the doors that open are are they, they, they just you can't you can't say enough about the value of that in a person's life. But doesn't it become very easy to take for granted as well when you win a Tony Award or you a TV show? And, and the thing about Rosie's Theater Kids, I think, that is most remarkable is it's people like yourself who. Uh, have had that experience and who recognize that. Because ultimately it can become about like, what are you wearing and where's the photo and what are you doing and you know, how, how will you're going to win very easily. It's a, can, we're conditioned that way actually. Um, and, the, and the beautiful thing is to be able to step back and recognize that the value of our experience is to provide the same experience for people who might not otherwise ever have it. And, uh, and I think that's the coolest part of it. Why we're all here tonight, ultimately, and, uh, and what this organization stands for. Yes, that is that is exactly could not be more well said. I mean, I have. Thanks.